essentially all of the um, top vaccines, about, I don't know, five out of the top six were uh, formulated as gene therapies. He's a professor of genetics at Harvard uh, Medical School, professor of health sciences and technology at Harvard University and MIT. He uh, is often called the father of modern genomics. His pioneering work has contributed to the development of DNA sequencing and genome engineering technologies. He's received many awards, many patents, over 550 publications. Uh, a couple of years ago, he wrote a book called Regenesis, How Synthetic Biology Will Reinvent Nature and Ourselves. As I mentioned, he initiated the Personal Genome Project, started over 20 companies. His most recent company, Nebula, offers gene sequencing, full genome sequencing, to you and me for just a few hundred dollars. Let's welcome Dr. George Church. Welcome. There are other things that can be done that involve um, uh, developing new drugs, uh, developing gene therapies, um, and dealing with the age-related diseases. Those all are greatly uh, help find uh, human genomes, and then and then infectious agents. We can we can get those done in record time now um, because of the same kind of technology. Is that what mRNA, the mRNA process that coming up with the COVID vaccine involved was sequencing the the COVID. Right. Well, the, yeah. So se being able to sequence the the uh, coronavirus genome um, very fast. In, in principle, if you have a new pathogen, you can get it sequenced out to the public, uh, to the to the scientists that need it within a few days. Yeah, it was over a weekend, I think, as I remember. <laughs> yeah, and then and then you can go to a prototype vaccine right. quite quickly. It doesn't have to be messenger RNA; it can be also be DNA as well, but Essentially, all of the um, top vaccines, about, I don't know, five out of the top six, were uh, formulated as gene therapies. And a gene therapy is just, you just write the, in, you, you take the DNA that you just read and put it into a, into a vector, either a lipid vector or a viral protein vector to get it into the, say, intramuscular injection, it's typical. And so that's that's a very that's becoming routine, but it's amazing how quick it wasn't routine three years ago. Uh, and in fact, two new methods, two new gene therapy methods, were uh, incorporated into into the uh, COVID vaccines and approved within eleven months. It's remarkable. Uh, yeah, some of them anyway. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. is this a it's a revolution then in in uh, how vaccines can can be developed? I, I think the ability to go from DNA sequence to DNA or RNA vaccines is really a revolution. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and in fact, you can see uh, it was, vaccines were kind of a sleepy technology uh, before COVID. And now they're making vaccines to norovirus and, right. and rhinovirus and, and, you know, basically uh, uh, pneumonia and sometimes 20 different strains, Lyme disease. It suddenly has, has gotten a lot of uh, excitement. Every time I go to the doctor, I get a new shot. The, the phrase gene therapy sounds very science fiction. What is what is gene therapy? What does that involve? Well, it, it really is just usually one gene, uh, but it can be many, uh, in, in delivered to um, human cells. Uh, usually in, a, in it can be intramuscular, intravenous, uh, and that gene then either replaces something that's missing or it uh, provides you with an uh, a antigen that you that stimulates your immune system. That's what va vaccines do. And, and like I said, vaccines are increasingly formulated as gene therapies. Right, right. So it's just a gene or one or more genes um, put in a form where they will get into, the, into a particular cell. Uh, it could be targeted for for the cells that you want to uh, impact most. Okay, so and then I was thinking more like CRISPR, like cutting and pasting genes and and yeah. chopping them up. We can we're starting to be able to do that as well. Uh, yes and no. I would say uh, first uh, a, a little appreciated fact, uh, just like it's a little appreciated that we haven't finished the human genome yet. Um, it, it it little appreciated fact is that. 100% of all of the gene therapies that are FDA approved right now, which is 16 different different gene therapies, none of them involve CRISPR. Right. Uh, 
So, and, and now that'll, that'll change. It'll be, it'll be, you know, 90% soon, but, uh, but I don't think, I think it's likely that it will remain. Most gene therapies will probably not involve CRISPR, partly because they're pre-CRISPR and post-CRISPR technologies that are moving at least as fast. Oh, interesting. Um, 